Hi everybody, Alex Ritz, Certified Professional Dog Trainer here, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about dog periods, or what's better known as a dog's heat cycle. So there are some similarities to humans and a human period, but there are a lot of differences too. In dogs, they don't get their first heat cycle until they're about six to eight months old. And rather than getting them every month, a dog goes through a heat cycle usually twice a year, about every six months. During this heat cycle, it's a much longer period. It lasts about a month total rather than just a week. The first part is when your dog actually is bleeding, the part that is typically compared to humans. Unlike in humans though, dogs are not shedding the lining of their uterus and you know, throwing out everything that was prepared for the baby that didn't happen. Instead, dogs are actually going to have bloody discharge just because there's increased blood flow to the uterus in preparation of becoming pregnant. So dogs bleed at the start of their heat cycle rather than at the end. And that first period where they're bleeding, that first section, is usually about seven to 10 days. And at the end of that seven to 10 days is typically when they're most fertile. So they're, they're most receptive to being bred rather than this is the end of your cycle, better luck next time. So it's important if you have an unspayed female dog, because spayed female dogs and male dogs don't go through heat cycles, that you understand that your dog is actually much more likely to become pregnant as they finish the bleeding part of their cycle rather than the bleeding part of their cycle signifying the end of a time period to which they are fertile. After that bleeding is done, there's occasionally some discharge for the next couple weeks. In total, the cycle usually lasts two to four weeks. A month is, is the average for most dogs, and they can be bred anytime through that month. So if you notice that your dog has gone into heat, and you have noticed bloody discharge, you should keep a really close eye on your dog for at least three to four weeks after that to make sure you don't have any accidental pregnancies occur. The fortunate thing is, because dogs are not shedding the lining of their uterus, there's no muscular contractions expelling all of that out, it's simply increased blood flow, they're not going to get cramps like humans can have. Some owners notice a difference in their dog's behavior during their heat cycle, but it's much more likely attributed to the hormone changes that are happening in their body rather than actual cramping happening because their uterus simply isn't contracting or you know trying to expel anything from it at that point. In dogs, if they don't go on to become pregnant, instead of shedding that, that lining as humans do, they actually just reabsorb it. And that's one risk why, one reason why dogs may be at a higher risk for uterine infections like pyometra. So if you notice your dog has any sort of smelly discharge or anything like that associated with their heat cycle, definitely head off to your vet to make sure that there is not a pyometra or a uterine infection happening. For more tips and tricks, definitely check us out at houndgames.com and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks.